Federal immigration authorities say two of the asylum seekers arrested for attacking New York City police officers recently are members of a notorious Venezuelan gang and that one of them should not have been in the United States because a Texas judge had previously ordered him deported. Five of the eight now in custody for the attack were in court today to hear the charges against them and Fox's Linda Schmidt has our story. Wilson Juarez and Kelvin Servita Arocha in court today in Lower Manhattan are members of the Venezuelan gang Tren de Aragua, according to ICE. The two are part of the migrant mob accused of beating and kicking two NYPD officers in Times Square last month. ICE telling me today that Juarez should not have even been in the U.S. A judge in El Paso, Texas, ordered him deported a year ago. Now they, along with five others in this case, are behind bars at Rikers. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg asking the judge for bail since the suspects have been indicted. Our criminal justice system did its job. These individuals are all behind bars where they belong. After their initial arrest, Juarez and Orocho were released without bail by D.A. Bragg, along with Jorman Reveron and Darwin Gomez Isquiel. Isquiel was arrested again this week and charged with shoplifting at a Macy's in Queens. They should have never been released. The D.A. in the case should have requested bail. The judge should have kept them behind bars. Yo, Henry Brito was the only suspect who was sent to Rikers on $15,000 bail after the beating in January. A source telling me that he was released this week after an activist pastor from a Brooklyn church posted his bail. However, he is now back in Rikers while authorities investigate the source of that money. Police body cam video shows the interaction with the officers and the migrants on January 27th. Officers had instructed the group not to block the sidewalk and to move along. Some of the suspect's lawyers raising questions as to whether police overreacted. I think it's undisputed that physical contact in this case was initiated by a police officer. The bottom line is that this individual didn't comply with a New York City police officer. Linda Schmidt, Fox News.